Hey everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where if you discover your genius, which is the combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit generating business, which is based on your purpose. Today, I have a very important subject to cover. Um, it's something that people in my group were asking about, and uh, it's something that a lot of people struggle with, which can change the game for you and your business. And so what we're going to be talking about today is copywriting. Those words that you brilliantly put on the page have the potential to attract your ideal clients or to drive them away. And it has the potential to convert them into actual clients. Uh, copywriting, in fact, actually doesn't just apply to what you write on a page. It actually applies to the words that you speak because it's all language. And if you don't understand how people need to hear what it is that you sell and how you market yourself, then it's going to be very difficult for you to get clients, which um, seems to be, you know, the major conversation for um, entrepreneurs everywhere. So that's what we're going to talk about today. You may want to share this uh, or invite other people who need to hear about um, how to write brilliant copy. I'm just going to narrow it down today. There are so many things I could go over, but I'm going to talk about three mistakes that... I see people making and how you can fix them. Um, you know, by the end of this, you actually will be able to take what I'm teaching you and you'll be able to implement it into your sales page uh, recently. And we'll, I'll, I'm actually going to try. I'm not sure if I can do this, but I'm going to show you my uh, webinar sales page, which converted at 70%. Indus industry standard is 5 to 10%. So um, I must be doing something right. So, uh, okay, so um, the first thing is, is that you may just be trying to write copy about what you sell. I know that sounds really weird, like, of course, I'm writing copy about what I sell. But in actuality, you need to uh, talk to the, if you've watched me before, you knew I had to throw this in, the three brains. You are not just speaking to one brain. In fact, humans have three brains. That's you and your ideal client. We have our fear brain, our fight or flight brain, which this is how information travels. Your fight or flight brain, so they're, right now, you know, when they first see you, are you trying to, uh, do they need to run from you? Are you trying to sell to them? Um, are you scary? The next brain is the emotional brain. It has no voice, but it's where their heartfelt decisions are made. So if you're not speaking to that and you're just speaking like logic and information and you think that that is going to convert them, you're wrong because in actuality, you need to speak to that um, silent emotional brain where the true decisions are made. Because what ends up happening is once it gets past those two brains, the information that they're reading then hits their thinking brain, which is actually logical, but it actually creates a lot of um, justification. So I often hear people talk about, you know, persuasion marketing and you have to convince them. Um, okay, so in actuality, if you're doing your marketing correctly, you shouldn't have to convince somebody because this is where people get and feel sleazy is that you should be qualifying them in your marketing. I was just talking to one of my clients about this um, in her session, is that uh, your goal is not to, on your sales page, is not to, um, to persuade them. If you had done your marketing correctly, it, it is to um, help them understand the information that you're teaching so that they then convert at the button below. Um, this is how... Uh, the people that I speak to, the heart-centered entrepreneurs who want to do good in the world and make money, this is how you need to understand it in your head. Rather than learning the, laz the latest um, selling technique, which to me, you know, uh, you don't need to sell. 
you need to do your marketing correctly and then uh, know how to speak to the brains. So, so this, is, uh, this is very important. So, so I just taught you about the three brains. Now I'm going to tell you how to speak to them. So the goal, so I told you that the emotional brain, this middle brain, um, is where the decisions are made. Okay, so if it, whether or not they press that button, even though that's the second brain it hits, um, that's where the decision to actually press the button below is, um, happens. Okay, so the first thing you need to make sure your copy addresses are the things that they know that they want. So obviously, you know, um, you, uh, whatever it is that you sell, you know, um, you're selling them uh, how to, um, how to uh, build a sales funnel in 30 days or um, how to, let's see, what do, what do people sell? How to um, fix a chronic health condition. Um, you don't have to suffer anymore, blah, blah, blah. So those, um, that copy needs to address the problem, obviously, that they're searching for. Then, so for me, like, uh, if you look at my sales page, um, the first thing that I talk about is selling. You don't need to sell anymore. You can, you can turn your, uh, you can transform your selling into positioning, which makes you not have to sell because then you're positioned correctly. I'll go more into that later. The next thing is, is you want to speak to the middle brain, which is the thoughts that they know that they're having, but that they wouldn't say out loud. So this is very, um, a little bit tricky. So let's say like, uh, I'm trying to lose weight. And so I'm looking for a diet program. So I would go around and tell my friends, oh my God, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. I need to lose weight. So they would say that out loud, but they have these thoughts in their head. That's the emotional thought that they would not say out loud, but they know they're aware that they're thinking of it. So like if I'm trying to lose weight, I may be like, um, I'm so fat. God damn it. You know, I'm so fat. And, uh, it makes me like not want to be around my best friend because she's so pretty and skinny. Like they know that they're thinking that, but they would never say that out loud. So if you could incorporate that into their sales page, if that's what your ideal client is, is, um, speaks to, you know, whatever their emotional pain is, then you need to put that on the sales page page, because when you speak it out loud and they're already thinking it, it's like, oh my God, that person's in my head. You want this speaking to the emotional brain is about deeply understanding them. What emotions are they going through? that they may not be telling you. So you may ask them, you know, what problems are you having? You know, they would obviously say, but the only way, unless you do like massive millions of dollars of research, the only way to truly understand what is going on in their emotional brain is if your business is positioned correctly. Because if your business is positioned correctly, that means that uh, you teach what you teach or you sell what you sell, but you are attracting your ideal clients, which happen to be you before you discovered your solution. Go figure. So in actuality, you know that emotional pain so well because you've lived it. So I happen to, um, you know, the emotional pain that I solve is I help people um, understand their value because uh, my ideal clients may not be making the money they deserve. Um, they may be suffering from lack of self-confidence, um, even though despite their 20 years of experience or, um, you know, having a, a, a wealth of knowledge, you know, t they're so good at what they do, but deep inside, they're not standing in their value. So, uh, but they, they probably wouldn't say that out loud. Um, so that's what I, that's what I would, uh, put in my page. Then the third thing you need to speak to is, um, the thoughts they don't even know that they're having. So now we're going deeper into the emotional brain. Those thoughts that they don't even know that they're having, uh, that would be very difficult to ask them, you know, what's going on because clearly they don't know what's happening. 
they don't know um, they don't know these thoughts but if you speak them it's like you just solve their problem sold like that's a golden moment so when you can do that then you actually are speaking to the three brains in your copy and your client your your potential client feels understood you want the goal of your copy is to help them feel understood so that you're not telling them your story there you're helping them tell their own story in their own heads your goal of your copy is not to persuade or convince people it's to have them convince themselves if you are positioned correctly if you're speaking the right words and writing the words that they need to hear they will convince themselves that's part of qualifying people there's no sleazy selling involved you're actually helping them understand how you can help them this is very important you can go to my sales page i'm going to i'm going to try let's see wait see if i can uh let's see wait hold on see if i can turn the camera around and show you so let's see if you look at my sales page if you go to positioned.totalgenius.net so like i attract your loyal tribe of clients like that's that's something that that my uh my bbf ideal clients uh want they want to have a um their loyal tribe and they don't want to have to sell so then i have my opt in button then i say um you know this is for you if you've ever thought you know i'm really good at what i do but i struggle with the right words for people to see my value people love me but they aren't buying from me um uh i don't know what to to work on to attract the right people i need a solid plan i love talking about what i do but i don't want to look like i'm selling people so um those all those things are ta- are saying hey Uh, I'm positioning my uh, my BBS. I'm positioning the client, so or potential client. So then I'm saying, you know, you're in the right place if you want to help people to make money, to make a difference, to stop beating yourself up for not being as good as the competition. So you know, they may not think that or say or say that out loud, uh, but those are the thoughts that are actually going on in their head. That's why my sales page um, converted at seventy percent. So. Then I, you know, I have the obvious sales page things, you know, these are the things that you want to include. You should actually look at this cuz you can fit in what you uh want to write, you know, the number one thing um that you that you are not doing that's unconsciously repelling your ideal clients, how to speak and position yourself, you know. So I'm actually uh telling them exactly what they want to hear and they may not be able to say. There. And then I have all my raving fans that talk about me. And then uh I talk about my position to sell um personalized study system which I'm going to tell you about in a second. So hold on. After I teach you two more copywriting things. So if you want to go to that page and see uh my copy, it's at positions.totalgenius.net. Um again, you know, it converted at 70%. So you may we want to take a look at it. Okay, so Uh the second mistake that you may be making in your copywriting that's very important is key phrases. No not key words, although those are important. You want to have your own language. I'm I'm thinking like Mark and Mindy right now. Nanu nanu. <laughs> okay. You want to have your own language. So I just refer to my ideal clients as uh BBFs, my best business friends, cuz that's how I think of them. I really value um the people I work with and the people that want to learn from me. Uh you know, they they're like my my best business friends. And so I I call them BBFs. That's a trademarked term. What's well, not trademarked, but it you know, it's my a term that I use. And uh you know, I talk about biohacking success. cuz uh you know I talk about the brains and how it affects your body and how your mind and thoughts affect your body um and I talk about that often so 
That's a, a, a trademarked term. I talk about personal influence, which is the positioning that needs to happen in your head uh, in order for you to get positions correctly for your ideal clients to see you. You know, I, I um, genius is actually your purpose. It's your expertise in life experience. What terminology do you have? What phrases and language are you creating for people? That's part of your copy too. You want people to speak your language. You want to be able to like get on video and write copy that, that, you know, people go, oh my God, that's so me. So I, you know, start a phrase like, oh my God, a lot because that's me. That's part of my positioning uh, because I'm just me. So if I was trying to edit what I'm saying, I wouldn't be able to speak to uh, your emotional brain because, you know, that's my positioning. It's my genius. It's, it's how I show up as me every day. How are you showing up as you? That's part of qualifying people so that you don't have to sell to them. If you thought that the way I spoke was um, stupid, you wouldn't still be listening. So this is, you know, some people call it, a, you know, they're leading you down a funnel. This is about understanding people's feelings and leading them closer to you so they take a step closer to you. There's no um, sleazy sales funnel. It's a feelings funnel. You know, again, this is for people that have a heart-centered um, business who want to make a difference in the world and make money. This is, it, you, what you need to understand is that it's not just important what your ideal clients think. In order for you to get it out of your head the right way so that they can hear it the right way, it's important what you think. Positioning starts on the inside of you before it can be seen on the outside. That is a critical thing that, uh, that selling doesn't teach you. It's not about, you know, knocking on doors and getting doors slammed in your face. That's not what positioning is. Positioning is speaking and then saying, hey, not everyone wants to listen to me. And that's okay. Because the people that do, I provide a lot of value for. Okay, the third thing is, is, uh, um, let's see, wait. Oh, this if there is one thing I want you to do after this call is to do this. The third thing that you're not doing in your copy, in your speaking, in your business is to have a vision. You don't have a vision painted for your BBF because if you, if you listen to what I said in the first thing about talking to the three brains, the one that makes a decision is your emotional brain. So if you're just trying to sell what you sell, you're not speaking to that emotional brain, which means that you haven't painted a vision. You haven't solved the internal problem that people buy. So you sell an external solution, but people buy an internal solution. If all I talked about was get a business, get a business, and I didn't speak to the emotional brain, I would just blend in with everybody else and then I'd be competing on price. I speak to a very specific type of person, someone who has expertise and who has overcome major life challenges, who knows what excellence is and has a high, high standards and because of it, they judge themselves. They overthink. That's who I speak to. And so the vision that I speak to is their ability to understand this business information and get it out so that they understand their own value and attract people that, um, that, that value them. This is essential, not just for your copy, but for your life. If you don't have a vision in your head and if you are afraid to speak it in your business, then why do you have a business? Because if I had to spend the next 20 years of my life um, just making money and feeling unfulfilled, there's no reason to have a business. I should just go get a job. 
you should have a vision for yourself. And remember, your BBF ideal client is you before you discover the solution. So every time you get up and speak, you should be speaking to that vision. Every time you write your copy, it should be pointing towards that vision. You give then your ideal clients hope. You're not just trying to promote what you're promoting there. You're trying to attract your loyal tribe. You don't just want them to buy once and go away. You want them to be a part of your life, about your, you, your business. A vision is the number one thing. Oprah said, uh, it's, it's, uh, let's see, wait. It's our highest calling to create the highest and greatest possible vision for yourself because you don't become what you want. You become what, what you think you are, um, what you think you can, something like that. It's not exactly how it goes, but you live the life that you believe that you can live. And when you can speak that into your business and in your copywriting, you paint that vision for your ideal clients and that converts them. So what is it? What is that vision for you? I want you after this call to go and spend half an hour to an hour and write down your greatest, grandest vision for yourself. It has nothing to do with your business. I don't want you to attach it to money. I want you to, it's not, I want to go fly jets. At, on your deathbed, what is it you want to say your life was about? And then translate that into your business because that's what your positioning is. When you can strategically translate that into your business and then understand what it is that you need to do in order to um, incorporate that into your business. That's what positioning is. It's understanding that greatest vision and then building it strategically into your business so that you attract your ideal tr tribe, your marketing flows, you understand your position every time you get up and speak, write, sell, any of that. So why I wanted to show you this is that, uh, or talk about this, um, not only to help you, but, you know, my position to sell, personalized study intensive, I launched it last week and I'm actually taking it off, taking it down as of Sunday. I'm taking it down at the current price that it's at and uh, you'll never see that price again. So as of, let's see, that would be the 21st of August. Uh, you have, I think it's like four days if you want to get it. You can find it at positionstosell.totalgenius.net. Um, I can't think, it, I mean, I'm already like having a blast with my students now, but, uh, you have, you get a deep dive workbook. It's like 50 pages interactive where, um, you don't have to figure out your vision. It actually comes out along with your positioning. Uh, after that, you get a two hour, uh, session with me where we build out your positioning and your marketing and your, uh, evergreen webinar your sales system, um, then you get a, uh, let's see, wait, a, the complete guide to high converting copywriting secrets. And I'm adding, which is why you'll never see this price again, a, uh, another session with me to incorporate all of that into your business and your, your website and your sales copy. So I'll help you write your sales copy and position, uh, you as, you know, so that you are able after, this whole thing, you know, after you finish the, the, um, the course that you'll be able to take that and then, you know, recreate copy and understand how it works because there's so much more to, um, high converting copywriting. Uh, then you also get a complete webinar, uh, done for you template where you just fill in your information based on how the brain works. It's not like one of those like dumbed down webinars. Uh, and then also you get a, a email sales funnel for your emails before and after. It's a done for you template templates where you can just plug in your information um, and send it. Uh, and let's see. Oh, if you get it uh, uh, before the 21st, you get an extra 45 minutes with me. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then you get a three hour Facebook ads mastery course. 
uh, provided by um, my Facebook ads genius, uh, Phil Gluting. Um, and all of that uh, right now is $5.97. Um, it's going to double in price when I relaunch it. Uh, so I don't know. If you're interested, I would take a look at it. It's at position to sell.totalgenius.net. And uh, otherwise, you know, go and incorporate the things that I just taught because they will convert uh, your sales page, your webinar page, whatever you want uh, and write copy for. It, it'll help you do that. And then when, once you understand those copywriting secrets, when you speak next time, you'll know how to speak. Hope that that has helped you. Uh, if you'd like, please share this with anybody you think needs to know their high, co uh, high converting copywriting secrets. And uh, come join me at the Genius Collective on Facebook. We'll be talking about um, your vision and your copywriting tonight. Talk to you later. Bye.